hello guys uh, today I would like to show you guys how to export this data output to what MS Word format mm, because most people mm, know how to produce this data output but now to export that data output in a formal format that is needed in a a given thesis or when writing a research or in any journal's publication so most people have that difficulty so today i would like to show you guys how to do that so now here we we have a data from wdi world development indicator uh, it's a time series data from year 1971 to 2014 and the variables that we are going to use here is GDP, carbon dioxide emission, trade liberalization, energy consumption and inflation rate. So the first regression is we want to, to, to regress carbon dioxide emission and trade liberalization on gdp we want to see how carbon dioxide emissions and trade liberalization have have it impacts on economic growth so let's go right away into it so here is the command regressed gdp as a dependent variables carbon dioxide emission and Trade liberalization as the independent variables. So when we regressed and the output is here. So this is the output of the regressions, the impacts of carbon dioxide emission and trade liberalization on GDP. So these are the results. Now most people know how to take to take uh right from this step to produce these results now the problem is to to bring these results into um, microsoft word in a formal way that that is being needed by your supervisor or when you're writing any journal's publication so so after producing this result um, or the command for producing the results into MS Word is here today I'll, I'll show you guys it's out regressed to using using now the file that the file name that you're going to that you want your results to be to be produced in mm, let me say this is my file name, my what? Maybe eight nine eight. This is where I want these results to be put by the starter in the MS Word. Then you include this this command C what decimal and the decimal is decimals of of the output figures that you want to limit into four so this is the the command so if we hit the enter key you see and now because we are in the editor mode just from viewing the data we have to the data will ask you you are currently in edit mode you want to change to browse mode you say just click yes so now this is the results this is how starter will, will will produce your results in the microsoft word in this format and this is the format that is needed by your supervisor or when you're publishing any paper so we hit enter now your results is here you can even view it if you want just by clicking this now some problem some people have 
other problems of because you you cannot only produce one result maybe you want to you want to include multiple results multiple results into one one uh, like in in ms word into one table so before when you produce the results after after writing this command and and hitting enter key before pro, uh, you, uh, producing another results and putting it in the same table you first need to hit enter and you should not forget that so if you want to produce other results maybe we want to see how uh, energy consumption and inflation rate also affect gdp so write regress regress gdp gdp common oxide trade liberalization we include other variables too energy consumption and inflation rate we want to see the impact on economic growth so when we hit enter these are the results that is being produced now after that you just click here you click this command for producing result into ms word starter will just bring it direct here when you see here you just hit enter mm, you see the result is embedded together into one one table together so that's how starter will produce it in your ms word so if you want to embed again another results into one uh you want to add more one more results or two uh, more one more results into the same table before you produce the another results of the regressions models you first have to hit enter you see then you can uh, you can produce another results uh maybe we want to Let's uh, produce an results of the impact of of carbon dioxide emission, uh, trade liberalization, and energy consumption only, excluding the inflation rate. So when we produce these results, yeah, then we we output the results using this this command. So you see it's embedded here so four is the uh, three all the three results are embedded in one table in a way that you want so now if you want to see your results that you can hit enter or you can just click here you can just uh, after hitting enter you can click here or you can write this command shell out using my word uh, using the word file that you that where your document uh, your 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 output is going to be put on yes then that I will bring out so you can write this command shell out using your file name my word eight nine eight mm. sell sell out using my word then put it then this is the command you have to put shell out using your file name and this then you eat and that's that I will produce the result. Now you see now Stata is bringing out the results in the MS wide. So you wait for it patiently. Okay. You see your result is now being outputted out. Put by starter 
so it takes some time so you need to be patient So you see, this is my file name that where my, this data is going to put to output my results into. You see, look at how Strata uh, did a great work for you. So you see, this is how how your results should should be like outputted in a very well organized format, and this is what is required during your publication or your thesis writing when you're writing your thesis for for graduations or in dissertation writing so this is how Stata is going to uh, publish your results in MSY in a very organized way which is needed by your supervisor and this is the dependent variables name carbon oxide emission Threat liberalization, energy consumption, inflation rate. Now you can change this this name into a real name. Okay, and also the dependent variable name you can change it. Uh, you can do some small formatting here, the way you need it. Yeah. So this is all that I can give you guys today. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. See you guys next time.